Hi guys, so this morning I wanted to start with something a little different that isn't a crappy pasta. I've been looking for a suitable crappy pasta to do for a little while and I think I've lost my objectivity and um, I'm, I'm just finding ones that are crap for the sake of being crap, so proper troll ones rather than ones that have tried to be good and ended up crappy. <clears throat> so I thought what I'd do is read something I particularly like which is from the SCP Containment Breach series and it's going to be um, a series um, because there's several of them um, but the one I want to read today is the details of SCP-093 SCP-093 The object class is a lucid the Special Containment Procedures, see Testing Document SCP-093-T1 for outlining of testing conditions. SCP-093 must remain on a mirror at all times and under video surveillance. Admittance into the area of SCP-093's containment must be authorised only with proper video recording and subject retrieval procedures in place. Any attempt to use SCP-093 SCP-093 outside of a approved test will be dealt with severely up to and including termination. Description SCP-093 is a primarily red disc carved from a stone composite resembling cinnabar with circular engravings and unknown symbols carved at 0.5 cm deep around the entire object. Deeper cuts are present on SCP-093 with a depth of 1 to 1.5 cm. <coughs> SCP-093 is 7.62 cm in diameter and fits comfortably into the palms, into most palms without abrasion. SCP-093 will change hue when held by a living individual. The colours taken by SCP-093 are still being researched to establish a link. Current belief holds that the changes depend upon the regrets carried by the holder. If SCP-093 is removed from a mirror and not held by a person, it will seek out the nearest mirror-like surface. SCP-093 has been observed to travel in the largest possible circle while rolling, building up phenomenal speed. The mechanism of this acceleration is currently unknown. If an obstacle is between SCP-093 and the nearest mirror-like surface, it will use this momentum to punch through the obstacle and continue on its course at this speed. It will only stop when a mirror-like surface is con contacted. Despite tremendous impact velocities, no damage will be dealt to SCP-093 or the mirror. Additional notes. No records exist to clarify the nature of SCP-093's discovery or presence in the Foundation. See SCP-093-OD. Since no records exist explaining SCP-093's method of containment, a test procedure was initiated to establish while mirrors must be used to contain it. The result of SCP-093 093T1 led to the discovery of living beings holding SCP-093 being able to move three mirrors and a series of tests in SCP-093T2 to ascertain the destination needed to be discovered. What follows after this is SCP-093 original documentation, which is much the same as what I've just read out. Um, just saying that the um, original notes before that were destroyed in a fire, so they don't, that's why they don't know how it came to be um, in the Foundation. SCP-093-T1 Containment Test Testing of SCP-093 against conditions set forth for the existing containment procedures to assess viability of continuing such containment beginning with changing the type of mirror used as a position of rest. Mirrored surface, brass frame, retail grade mirror. SCP-093 rests without activity when placed on the mirror. This test alone removes the need for costly silver or wooden containment systems. Standard grade table. SCP-093 
SCP-0093 turns upright and begins to roll across the table surface in one direction, making a U-turn and rolling to the other, completing an oval shape and repeating this action until a mirror is brought into the vicinity of it, at which time SCP-093 rolls towards the mirror and lays flat ways against it, sliding towards the centre. It is noticed it is noted that despite the grainy feel of SCP-093, it does not mark the mirror in any fashion while moving across it. Two mirrors at either end of a standard grade table. SCP-093 gravitates towards the closer mirror regardless of orientation and makes no distinction between different types of mirrors favouring a factor of distance above all, all else in choosing the mirror to move to. Mirror held by a person and moved around. SCP-093 follows the mirror as it moves, gaining speed until a maximum velocity of redacted is reached. At any velocity, the impact of SCP-093 against, against a mirrored surface results in no damage to either object. The person holding SCP-093 placing it on a mirror. This test was accidental, the result of one of the staff tripping another after some debate about who would cover in the lunch lab. As a result of the behaviour of the researchers, it was discovered that a person holding SCP-093 and placing it against a mirror will in fact move into the mirror. Adenium and Endium Containment test is continued after establishing that SCP-093 requires only a mirror to remain inert. Testing on human interaction with mirrors whilst holding SCP-093, authorised by Dr. Redacted. SCP-093-T2 Mirror Test Testing Protocols Subjects testing SCP-093 must wear a Class 3 buckle harness strapped to the chest and attached to a tension pulley system allowing for 300 metres over a thousand foot of movement. Additional spawns may be added to extend movement if necessary. The glass connecting these spawns must be high grade and capable of withstanding applied force of 0.2 tons. A field kit containing the following should be standard issue for testing of SCP-093. One wrist mounted light source with three hours lifespan and additional power sources providing up to six additional hours. 4 0.5 litre water bottles with water, 4 MREs of any type plus 2 blow, plain granola glass, chocolate chips allowed, 1 standard issue Beretta 9mm firearm with 24 rounds of ammunition loaded. This is not to be issued until the subject is passed into a mirror using SCP-093 and should be given under armed supervision ensuring the subject passes viewed through entirely. This item is to be re requisitioned first upon subject's return and subject to be made aware of this before leaving line of sight with an SCP-093 mirror. One standard issue field night. The subject is not to be made aware of this item and must find it on his own within the kit. The subject must also be attached to a video system the camera mounted on the subject's head or shoulders. The video device should be cable based and allow for the same length of travel as the return system. Wireless cameras have, been, have shown mixed results and should only be used in testing conditions where SCP-093 is, currently, is a currently known colour. New colours must be tested using wide view. During testing, the colour of SCP-093 093 must be recorded, as well as history of the subject in terms of date incarceration to identify how SCP-093 determines the colour to assume. A link appears to be connected to the guilt or lack thereof in the subject's psyche. Detached test results should be read in order.